What's going on, YouTube? This is your DraftKings Addict. Bring you my top plays for Wednesday's main slate. All right, guys, so let's talk about it. Uh, we got a seven-game slate coming up. It's getting close to the end of the season, you know. I think it's, what, 22, 23 games left for each team. So, you know, teams trying to stay in the playoffs, teams trying to get in the playoffs. So keep an eye on the playoff race, guys. You know, some teams are playing for something, some teams are not. So, you know, of course, the ones that's playing for something are going to be the team giving it their all. So keep that in mind going forward, guys. So we pull up the playoff bracket right now with the, the conference standings. Uh, here goes the Eastern Conference. You see you got, uh, looks like you got Detroit and Charlotte in the running right here. And you got Miami and Milwaukee trying to stay afloat. All right, go down to the Western Conference. Western Conference. You got Minnesota right here. You got Oklahoma City and Denver all, oh, and San Antonio all right here at the bottom, less than a game and a half or two um, apart. And then you got the Clippers in Utah trying to get in. L.A. is a couple games behind right now, so we we not worry about them for right now. But uh, long story short, guys, know who's playing for something. All right, all right, guys. So let's go ahead and get to my to my picks for today, guys. Oh man, yesterday's slate was 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 tough. It was tough. My cash games, cash, my GPPs wasn't even close, man. You know, we had a lot of bad, bad plays <laughs> that were supposed to be in good spots that that uh, shat the bed. But it's all good. It happens. It's DFS, right? So uh, I bet six bucks and one f- four. No, I bet eight and one four. So I lost half my buy-in. But hey, that's why you hedge your GPP plays with double-ups. Or 50 50, so that way you don't lose your whole back row. Because nine times out of ten, if you just miss the cash line on your GPPs, they'll make it in the cash games or double ups. So, all right, guys, so let's get into today's slate, guys. So, let's go ahead and uh, one of the players I like on today's slate uh, is going to be, be Vooch versus LA, the Lakers. All right, so I like him. Uh, his, his minutes are beginning up. You know, and again, uh, his usage is high. This guy here does a lot for this team. Rebounds, assists, points. All right. You may get a block or two playing against L.A. All right. So I like this game. Should be a high-scoring game. One of the highest over-unders on the, on the screen. So uh, I like Vooch. All right. Playing in the middle. Biggs versus L.A. Let's get it. All right. Another player I got. I like guys in that same game. And uh, this guy has been hot, Isaiah Thomas. Again, last couple of games, you see he's averaging around 30 plus. All right, for a guy for 6K, hey, that's easy money. And if you look at his history versus this team, 27 minutes, he put up 30 DK points, but he's playing a little bit more than than that. So, all right, good game. Ingram out. Need the offense from the from the second team. Isaiah Thomas is the offense on the second team. So, let's go. All right, another guy I, got, I like tonight is uh, DeAndre. No, De'Aaron Fox, my apologies. All right, so we're going up against New Orleans, who's uh, playing another game tomorrow. They've had a couple of games, so, you know, again, they're fighting for the playoff live. So um, I like De'Aaron Fox, point guard versus New Orleans. All right, you see three games. He averages around 26 DK points, buddy. Uh, again, I expect him to, you know, get a couple more points. He's at home. Lock him in. Good value play. All right, another guy I like, guys. Uh, I'm going back to the well on this one. He should get the start with Tristan Thompson still on the, on the shelf. But uh, Larry Nance Jr., man, he went off last game versus Detroit. 32 minutes. He put up a nice double-double, 22 and 15. All right, so if you look at the splits, this guy played 20 minutes versus Denver before, and he put up 14 and 8, almost had a double-double in just 20 minutes. All right, expect him to play 30-plus minutes because, again, Tristan Thompson is out. All right. Knock him in, knock him in. I think Jeff Green is still out, too, if I remember correctly. So if both of those guys are still out, I like Larry Nance. All right. Let's see if Green is still out. Oh, wrong green. <laughs> that green. Okay, he's questionable. All right. Questionable. All right. 
All right, well, that green is out. I like you, Larry Nance, guys, again. I know he went up to his price of 6.3K, 6 but no, he's he, he's worth it if those two guys out, and he's the default big man, all right? Him and LeBron, of course. All right, another guy I want from that game, going back here. This guy burned me tonight. You know, he's supposed to have a good game, and uh, he stunk up the, the joint, couldn't hit nothing. But uh, I like him to bounce back versus Cleveland, guys. All right, put up 32 points against Cleveland last time, four, four assists, two rebounds, a steal, you know. So, again, I like this game to stay competitive. Again, it's one of the higher over-under games. So, I like Gary Harris in the bounce-back spot. Because, again, if you look at his game log, he doesn't he didn't have many bad games going on court. So, you know, there go one right there, 12-point stinker. Matter of fact, I played him versus Houston. I remember that. That shit hurt. But anyway, I like him. Bounce back versus Cleveland. No defense versus J.R. Smith. Come on, man. J.R. Smith can't hold the cold. All right. So that's my top five plays for tomorrow, guys. Um, some of the play players I like up top. You know, of course, I like Atentacupo versus Houston. Look at his record versus him. He's averaging about 50 DK points with them. But if you look here lately, he's been doing a lot. So, again, I like I like ABC versus Houston. Of course, LeBron James is always in the top. The king. All right, it's just a matter of which one is going to show up. Mr. Triple Double. You know, who knows? But uh, last time these two teams played, he played 42 minutes to stay in the game. And uh, he put up 67 DK points, guys. So, that's LeBron James we want to see. So. Which one's going to show up? Who knows? All right. We got Andre Drummond versus Toronto. That should be a good matchup. He should be able to get his double, you know, a nice double-double. You see he put up 21 and 17 on average versus this team. So, again, he's in a good spot. So, five up Drummond if you like Drummond. All right, guys. Let's keep on going down. Julius Randle versus Orlando. Neither one of these teams plays well versus the uh, center. Last time uh, Julius Randle played this team, I believe he was coming off the bench. Well, now he's starting playing 33-plus minutes, so he should be a pretty good uh, a spot to put up a 40 of burger. All right. Who else we got, guys? Clint Capella. Again, he stunk it up last night, but it's a nice bounce-back spot for him versus Milwaukee, who stinks in the, in the middle. All right. Clint Capella. All right. Another guy I like, guys, uh, if Wiley Collistein and Scott Labissier, Le however you say his name, is ruled out, you know, look at Zebo, man. Zach Randolph. All right. If you look at this this matchup, man, three games, he averages 45 DK points versus New Orleans. All right. And that's in uh, 30 minutes. All right. So if those two guys are ruled out, maybe he gets the big minutes. So if he's starting – I would play him at 5.8K, you know, again. Also another guy on that same team, Costa Kufas. Again, if those two big men are ruled out, Costa Kufas has been picking up the slack. So if you look at his game logs, you know, he's playing by 25, 20 plus minutes, and uh, he's doing decent. All right. If you look at his splits versus this team, three games, he's put up 30 DK points on average. All right, guys. So if those two players are ruled out, there you go. AD went out hurt today. If he's not playing, you definitely want to lock in um, the shooting guard. Holiday. There we go. Again, watch the news. But Drew Holiday should be a lock if AD is out because he's going to become their offense pretty much. All right. But I think AD still plays, man. You know, I know he got kicked in the hip or whatever the hell. But uh, I think he'll be all right. Dude came back and put up like 20 points in the third quarter. I'm just saying, that dude dominated. And uh, if he's playing tomorrow, I expect him to do the same thing. So that's somebody else that you might want to pay up for. Playing against Sacramento, that garbage. Only thing is, do they blow him out? But I like AD versus Sacramento if he's playing tomorrow and if he's okay, you know. All right, guys, so that's all my top plays. <sighs> Sometimes, guys, that's how it is, man. Some nights, you know. You play all the right plays who are in the right positions to do well, and they put up a stinker, man. They take the night out, or they just have an off-shoot night, man. It's just how it is. So that's why you got to manage your bankroll. Don't play it all in one night. Slow and steady, slow and steady. All right, well, guys, well, oh, Larry the Marketing, too. I like him versus uh, Memphis, but I don't really want to play this game. I don't think this game is going to be too entertaining, but, hey, 
that's another option. He's cheap, 6K, playing 30-plus minutes. All right, guys, let me get out of here, guys. Good luck tomorrow. Highlight me in the comments. Like the video. Subscribe if you want to be updated on when I post my videos. And follow me on Twitter for updates.